All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Friday edition of the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better movement session. If uh, you missed out on Wednesday, I apologize. We're trying a new streaming app that's supposed to automatically stream to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Uh, so I, I tried using that on Wednesday. Unfortunately, it did not work very well. So you did not get to see a video on Wednesday morning when I was here doing it. So I apologize for the technical difficulties as we are uh, trying to find ways to expand our reach into other uh, platforms. So anyway, please uh, find yourself a nice open space where you can do some stretching, grab yourself a belt, a piece of rope, or a strap like this one. Uh, this is a stretch out strap. We do sell these here in the office. So if you would like to have one, I, I find them very helpful because of the sewn in loops in the strap. It makes it easier to put around your foot or hold on to in your hands. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's reach up overhead. Readjust my handhold here. Reach up to the sky, towards your ceiling. Stretch out that spine. Tuck your belly in. And just reach. Good. Let's go ahead and do a left side side bend. Lean to the left. In this case, the weight of your left arm is assisting to add a little bit of extra weight and pull along the right side of your body, which is what we're stretching in this position. Good. Let's go ahead and do one more. Three on each side. Please remember to breathe. You want to exhale as you stretch to the right side. Good, one more. Good, bring your arms down to shoulder height. Rotate to your left. Same thing here, the extension of your left arm is assisting and providing stretch on the right side. We're gonna go all the way around as far as you can to the right. Slowly back around to the left. One more full time all the way around. All right, good job. Grab one end of your rope or strap into your right hand, up over your head, reach back behind you. Let's pull that hand back between the shoulder blades, a little bit of an assist with the strap. About a two second hold on these stretches. Number two, open up that shoulder. We've all had that itch in between the shoulder blades that you're having a hard time reaching. Good job. Take that same strap in your right hand back behind your back. Run the strap over your left shoulder. Now I'm gonna reach behind the small of my back and up towards my shoulder blades from the bottom. That's one. Two. And three. Good job. Go ahead and let go with the left hand. Bring your right arm into a field goal post-like position, 90 degrees at the shoulder, 90 degrees at the elbow. Reach back behind you and grab the strap. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing here. Some people have limited range of motion in this direction, in this circular rotational rotation of the shoulder movement. 
Some people will, will stop here. That's as far as they're able to turn that arm in that shoulder socket. You want it to be at least 90 degrees and the, it will actually allow for a lot more once you build that range of motion. So go ahead and reach back behind your right ear basically, but out to the side and you're just using the strap to assist the rotation of that shoulder. It's really gonna help open up the front part of the shoulder. This is really helpful for people that have rounding of their shoulders, where you see that little bit of a, of a divot, that hole here in the chest where their shoulders are forward and their chest is back. It's really, really good exercise, uh, stretch for that. So go ahead and reach overhead with your left, reach back behind you with your right, reach down behind your shoulder blades just like you did on the other arm. Good. So we're doing three reps with about a two second hold on each of these stretches. Good job. Come up from the waist, strap over the right shoulder, reaching up behind the shoulder blades. Very nicely done. Field goal position, reach back behind you with the, to grab the strap. Rotate the shoulder. All right, nicely done. Go ahead and put that strap around your neck or set it on the floor. Reach out to the wall. Put your palm flat on the, on the wall. Fingers should be pointing straight behind you. Step forward with your left foot. Push forward with your hips and rotate your chest slightly away from the wall. Good job. Push forward, rotate. You wanna feel that stretch right across the front of the shoulder and the top of the chest. Good job. Step back, lift your arm a little bit higher. Now your fingertips should be at about a 45 degree angle up and away behind you. Step forward, rotate away. These feel really good. This is also very helpful for people that have rounded shoulders and help open up the chest. That's another one of the muscles that's helping to pull that shoulder forward. You can just turn around and use the same spot. I'm gonna to go to the other side of the hallway, hand flat on the wall, fingers pointing behind me. Step forward with the right foot, push forward with your hips and rotate away from the wall with your chest. Good job. Nicely done. Raise that arm a little bit higher, a little bit higher than head height. Step forward, rotate your chest away. Hope everybody has a great weekend. It's Friday, so I know everybody uh, gets a little bit excited. Hopefully you have something fun planned. Um, maybe going to a kayaking or out to the park or something nice. Get outside, enjoy the weather. All right. All right, let's go ahead and come on down and sit on the floor. And let's go ahead and get started with some of these leg stretches. They're help gonna open up the legs and the lower back. So take that strap around the ball of your right foot, lay back, straighten out both legs, lift your toes up over your shoulder towards the same side shoulder. Nice and slow and steady and even.
Good job. You actually have three hamstring muscles. We're going to do three different hamstring stretches. So take that strap around the inside of your ankle. It's going to point your toes towards the inside automatically. It's going to pull your toes in that direction. Pull that strap towards your nose. Keep that leg straight. Your leg will go further if you bend it, but it won't stress the hamstring as well. Good. Go ahead and take that strap around the, your leg until it's on the outside of your ankle. That's going to rotate your leg and your toes towards the outside of the body. Now we're going to pull your leg towards the opposite side shoulder. Opposite side shoulder. And as always, again, remember to breathe. You always want to be exhaling as you engage in the stretch. You're going to leave the strap where it's at. You're going to lift your leg and scissor your right leg across the top of your left leg. This is to stretch the outside of the hip. One more at this angle. We're going to do a couple other versions or angles of your leg. So in this case, we're going to lift that leg to about 45 degrees and scissor across. You do not want to let your hips roll. You might have a temptation to let your hips roll to the left with you. Try to keep those hips flat. Good. One more. And for those of you that can get a little bit higher, go as close to 90 degrees as you can and scissor across. You're going to feel this in your upper glutes and your lower back. Nicely done. Go ahead and pull that strap around your leg all the way to the inside of your ankle and around. Straighten that leg back out. You're going to lift that heel just off the floor. Do the splits and stretch that right leg out to the side as far as you can. Let it reset. Out. And back in. And out. Back in. Good job. You can go ahead and take that strap off of the foot. Lift your heel with your knee bent. Reach up with your left hand. This time we're going to let the hips roll. Reach out with your right hand all the way to the side. Looking to the right while your knee goes to the left. Ringing out the spine from top to bottom. <sighs> Reaching out with the right. Pull the knee to the left while you look to the right. <sighs> These feel so good. You'll notice that uh, just for the sake of consistency, I'm doing each of these stretches three times. There's not a set number that you need to do um, on the stretches that really feel like they're doing something more. They're deeper stretches that you're getting more benefit out of. Do more repetitions of them um, later on. Your body needs it. Go ahead and bend your left knee. Take your right ankle and cross it over the knee. Use your right hand to pull the knee as close to the chest as you can. Your left hand on the shin. Rotate or pull your arch of your foot towards your left shoulder. This is one of my favorite ones. You should feel that deep in this right glute.
All right, well done. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Strap on the left foot. Straighten up both legs. Same side shoulder. Ready? Lift. One more. Around the inside of the ankle, just like we did on the opposite leg. This is gonna pull your toes towards the inside. And where you pull our leg towards the midline or your nose. Take that strap around your leg until it's on the outside of your ankle. This is going to rotate your feet to the outside. You're going to bring to your leg towards the opposite side shoulder. Well done. Now we're gonna go with the scissor stretch for the outside of the hip. Lift that left leg, scissor across. And back down and let it reset. Scissor across. Good job, one more of these. All right, bring that leg up to 45 degrees and scissor. That feels really good on that leg. All right, up to 90 degrees. And scissor across. Remember, keep those hips on the floor. All right, bring that strap around the leg to the inside of the ankle. And we're going to do the splits. Bring that left leg out as far as you can, reaching out with your left arm, adding a little bit of assistance with the strap. By going around the inside of the ankle, the reason that's important is it helps keep your toes pointing towards the ceiling. Once you get all the way out to the left, you're going to want to rotate your leg and this will keep that from happening so we can get a true groin stretch instead of another hamstring stretch all right good job let's go ahead and take that strap off straighten out your right leg reach up with your right hand pull that knee across looking to the left wringing your spine the other direction and relax One more of these. All right, bend that right leg. Put that ankle on top of the knee. Pull your left knee towards your chest. Rotate the leg, pulling your foot towards your shoulder. People that have sciatic-like issues, you definitely need to do this stretch every day, multiple times a day if you can, and take that pressure off of the sciatic nerve that's going underneath or through that piriformis muscle, which is what we just stretched. All right, come on up to your knees. 
Step forward with your right foot, leaving your left knee planted underneath your hips. Sounds like someone might be going the wrong way on a one-way street. Happens all the time out here, unfortunately. All right, so here we go. Push, keep your body upright. A lot of people will tend to want to lean forward. Don't lean forward. Keep your head up, your shoulders up, chest forward. Push forward with your hips so that your knee comes up on t above your uh, heel, your right heel. Reach over with your left and slightly lean to the left as you push forward. You want to feel this stretch across the front of the hip on the back leg. Push yourself back, reset, push forward, reach overhead. People that have lower back issues that spend too much time driving or sitting at a desk, this is a very important stretch to open up the psoas muscle. Let's go ahead and switch legs, left leg forward, right knee underneath you, push forward with your hips, reach overhead with a slight lean to the opposite side. Nice. Let's do two more repetitions of that one. All right, one more. All right, good job. That's it for the stretching for today. Let's do a couple of basic exercises. They'll help strengthen the core, the glutes, and uh, upper back. Looks like my wife, Lena, just arrived. So here in just a minute, we might have a little bit of puppy assistance as uh, Dory, our office mascot and manager, comes in. She'll probably come up here and disrupt us just a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with dead bugs. The first thing is to make sure you're in the right position. So you're nice and flat on your back, but what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze your core, lifting the bottom of your spine right before your hips, between your shoulder blades and your hip. There should be a little bit of a gap between the small, small of your back and the floor. Okay, so that's the first thing. Reach above your shoulders, up towards the ceiling or sky. Lift your feet up off the floor. Let's go ahead and get some movement here. Whenever you need to, whatever your level is, whenever you need to set your legs down and take a couple deep breaths, then reset and come back into this position and move. This is all targeted to help strengthen the core. They're called dead bugs because you look like a bug lying on its back trying to figure out a way to roll over so I can keep on moving. Okay, sometimes they get stuck this way. Good, relax. All right, I'm gonna do one more of these, ready? And again, if you need to take more breaks in between, please feel free to do that. Remember to breathe, do not hold your breath. Relax. Good job. All right, well, while we're here, we're going to do some glute bridges. All you're going to do here is simply squeeze your butt, right, your glutes, and lift your hips up off the floor towards the ceiling, creating a straight, flat surface between your shoulders and your knees. Okay, so see where it's down here on the floor? We're going to lift those up to here so that it can create that straight line. Here we go. Lift and hold. Squeeze those glutes. A 
come on back down nice and slow, controlled. As soon as your hips hit the floor, if you're able to, push right back up. And back down, nice and slow and controlled. Don't just flop. And up. All right, good job. Come on back down and relax. Please go ahead and roll over onto your stomachs. All right, we're going to do some belly angels. So lying on your stomach, put your arms out to the side, looking like a field goal post. Shoulders at 90, elbows at 90. And you're going to flex your back, lifting your chest and head up, and your arms up at the same time. Squeeze the upper muscles, in, the muscles in your upper back. And relax. Squeeze and lift. And come back down. Now if you're able to and you want to, squeeze your glutes and lift your knees up off the floor at the same time. And relax. I'm going to do two more of those. Squeeze. And relax. One more. Here we go. Ready? Up. And back down. All right, push back onto your hands and knees. Push your butt all the way to your heels. Bring your nose down towards the floor into child's pose. Let's take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Again, thank you for joining me this Friday morning. This is Scott from Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center, downtown St. Petersburg. Please give us a call, 727-822-8866. Schedule an appointment for some therapeutic massage and body work. Um, go to our website, www.peacefulwarriorswellness.com. Please like and share this video. Introduce your friends, family, loved ones um, to this content so that they can uh, get a benefit as well. I'll be back here again on Monday morning at 8.30, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right. Thanks again. Hope you have a great weekend.